Patrick Hanna, on the night of this horrifying murder, documents say Polly and an accomplice named Carl Scott Smith staked out a tavern, spending time with the people they would come back and kill just moments later. Documents say Timothy Polly and Carl Smith planned to rob the Barn Door Tavern in SeaTac. They came back after the business closed. Polly with a gun, Smith with a knife. Inside were five people. Polly and Smith tied up two men and put them in a cooler, then made three women strip and forced them to crawl into the bathroom where they tied them up. A third woman was hung on a bar railing. Documents say Polly shot both of the men in the cooler in the head, even though they were tied up. The woman hung by the bar died. The two other women survived, only to find their loved ones murdered. Polly pleaded guilty to three counts of murder and was sentenced in 1981. The Indeterminate Sentence Review Board, a group that reviews cases, decided Polly completed the rehabilitation criteria for parole and could be released on July 2nd. But on Friday, Governor Jay Inslee canceled that decision. In Inslee's cancellation order, he says, Polly never apologized or took responsibility, saying, quote, he referred to the victims and their families as them and these people. King County prosecuting attorney Dan Satterberg also objected to Polly's release. Satterberg saying in a letter that Fox 13 News obtained, Polly has still not been upfront about his involvement in the murder. I've seen people just fall apart with remorse. Uh, this guy showed zero zippo nada on his face. No concern, no remorse, no regret, uh, only for himself, just as Ridgeway and Bundy did. They regretted that they got caught. Fox 13 News spoke to Dave Reichert, former state rep and former King County Sheriff, as well as one of the first investigators on the scene the night of the murders. He wants a second chance. I, just, I think people deserve second chances. His second chance was he, he didn't get the death penalty. He got prison, life in prison instead. And his second chance is with God and, and the way that he behaves in that prison, not out in the community. Continues to dig into this story this weekend on the Spotlight with David Rose. David is speaking to one of the survivors of this tragedy, a woman who was tied up in the bathroom while Polly killed her husband and friends outside. Reporting live in the newsroom, AJ Janivel for Fox 13 News. Thanks, AJ. And as he just mentioned, our upcoming coverage on the Spotlight with David Rose. You can catch that episode tomorrow night on Fox 13 at 1030. Remember, you can also see Encore airings every Sunday night at 1130 and starting this week, Mondays at 630. You can always watch archived episodes of the Spotlight on our website. That's fox13cl.com. Or you can go to YouTube and search the Spotlight with David Rose.